What is going on investors and welcome back to the channel. So if you guys are new here, we talk about stocks on this channel as well as all things investing and personal finance. I post videos every single day on the hottest growth stocks in the market, keeping you guys well informed. So if you guys appreciate all the hard work that goes into making these videos every single day, all I ask is make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your bell notifications so you guys can get updated every time I post a video. The over 13,000 of you that have those notifications turned on, you know I appreciate it and you know exactly how valuable that is with that said though jumping into Weeble here as you can see we do have a pretty mixed market we have a lot of stocks still in the red but nevertheless a lot of stocks are in the green today which is a big improvement from yesterday so we'll definitely take it now we have a ton to talk about in today's video we're gonna be going over Tesla their new price targets as well as how to play this new coinbase IPO coming up and then we're gonna be going into a company that you guys have been wanting me to talk about for quite a while so we're gonna do that today and I'm gonna give you my my personal opinion on that specific company now before we do any of that though I do want to talk about what is leading the pack today and that is XRP now this is a cryptocurrency that you probably heard about but you may not know a whole lot about it now I do want to tell you right off the bat XRP is something that I've been investing in since 2017 it has paid off extremely well and it is my largest individual holding and the only reason we have not talked about this on the channel before is simply because we just do not talk about crypto on this channel however if you guys want that to change and you want to learn more about xrp bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies please let me know down in the comments below but anyways i don't want you to run out and invest in xrp i want you guys to keep this on your watch list and do your own research xrp has been on an absolute tear lately up hundreds of percent in just the last couple of days last time we saw this was in 2017 and what happened was is it reached its all-time high and then it dropped extremely fast so you definitely have to to be careful and that is why i just want you guys to go out and research this coin xrp is a crypto with a company behind them though they have over 300 employees a ceo former sec representatives former higher-ups from the imf and many other massive names on their team looking to change the world for cross-border payments like i said guys i've been investing since 2017 in xrp and i have a ton of knowledge built up over the last several years so if you guys want to see a dedicated video on why i personally think think XRP could hit thousands of dollars a coin in the relatively near future, then definitely leave me a comment below and I will make that happen for you guys. For now, keep it on your watch list and please do your own due diligence and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Okay, so with that out of the way, I felt obligated to inform you guys about XRP, but with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. And before we do, if you guys need a broker to see this red and green Christmas tree of a market right now, I personally use Weeble and right now you can get two free stocks via up to $1,800. So I will leave that link in the description as well as pinned in the first comment below. Definitely take advantage of that opportunity. Now, with that said, let's get into things here. Tesla did get an upgraded price target from a five-star analyst, Jonathan Dorsheimer. As you can see, he has a very high success rate as well as a very high average return. And he just upgraded his price target from $400 a share all the way up to over $1,000 a share. And like I said, that was just yesterday. So let's get into exactly the reason why, because it may surprise you. So Tesla is rising today on a new $1 trillion price target from a top analyst who sees the company developing an Apple-like ecosystem for energy. While most analysts focus on Tesla's automotive business and especially its self-driving technology for future growth, Dorsheimer likes Tesla's energy business, which obviously is completely different from some other investors that we have heard. Like ARK Invest makes a lot of price targets on Tesla and neither of them have included their energy business whatsoever that was just like a bonus on top of everything and even without their energy business arc still has a price target of over three thousand dollars a share for tesla in the next couple of years now elon musk has also said multiple times that people underestimate the potential of tesla energy so this is definitely something big to consider and their energy business is something that could take off in the next several years now also here real quick is the coinbase ipo this is coming up value their firm at 147 billion dollars and if we take a look around here future contracts that trade outside the united states on platform german-based ftx was changing hands at 600 dollars a share so obviously absolutely massive now if you ask me how i think investors should play this well we all know what happens on ipo day 
Coinbase is going to rally up a ton. They're going to rally way up because this is very highly anticipated. But in a couple of days or maybe even a couple weeks, Coinbase will sell off and settle back down at a certain price. And that is when you want to pick up your shares and hold this company for the long term. Now, I'm basing all of that on prior experience with IPOs. So, of course, anything could happen and that could change. So make sure and always do your own research first. Nevertheless, though, that is the way I would play Coinbase if I wanted to get in to hold a position for the long term. With that out of the way, let's jump into exactly the stock you guys have been wanting me to talk about for quite a while. So the stock we're going to talk about today is Workhorse Group, and this is ticker symbol WKHS. This is a company you guys have been wanting me to talk about for quite a while now, so let's get right into it. Workhorse is one that has ran all the way up to over $40 a share and then came literally crashing back down and now it's down over 70%. That is absolutely insane. So is this a good deal at this price or is this stock pretty much worthless at this point? Let's dive in and see what I think. So first, now we haven't covered this company at all. So let's go over their business model a little bit here. As we can see, they are an electric company and they do offer delivery vans that are fully electric. Right now, their delivery vans have about a 100 mile range, which to me is personally a little bit concerning. That doesn't keep up with big competitors, but nevertheless, as technology improves, those numbers will improve as well. They also have impressive stats on some of their previous delivery van models as they have more than 8.5 million miles on them and are used by some of the premier package delivery companies in the world. Now, another part of their business is delivery drones. And if you're going to invest in a technology company for the future, I think Workhorse definitely offers a piece of the future here. So this says the future of package delivery is already here and it's flying through the air. These delivery drones are designed to be fully autonomous as well as work in tandem with our all electric delivery vans. And this custom built drone technology will deliver safely and efficiency your package Package to your doorstep so extremely impressive and then they're also gonna have telematics here where their in-house integrated system will track vehicles track packages all in the palm of your hand so there's a brief overview of workhorse here and kind of exactly what they do now the problem is what happened with workhorse why did they come crashing down from their highs of over $40 a share we can see here like I said a year ago they were trading below $2 a share then in 2020 ran up to about $20 a share and in February of 2021 which obviously was a massive month for tech stocks they ran up over $42 a share now they sit at $12 a share so you guys probably already know but what happened is they lost that deal with the United States States Postal Service and this is why I haven't talked about this company before on the channel at all because I knew they were banking off one deal and if that deal did not go through for whatever reason I knew the company would crash now that doesn't mean I was hoping the deal wouldn't go through I was really hoping the deal would go through I know a lot of investors who are invested in workhorse and I knew that if that deal did go through the stock would have doubled and tripled once again unfortunately though at this time the deal did not go through and the stock absolutely plummeted so now it's time to break it down reevaluate this company and see if they're still worth investing in after losing that usps contract and so the point is that the company is still doing fine as far as how they look on paper they have a order backlog of more than 8,000 vehicles they have raised 270 million dollars in capital over several financings they still have a cash position of over 215 million dollars they do still have sales with q4 sales totaling over half a million dollars and marked a big improvement over the measly $3,000 generated during the year ago quarter. So definitely they are still a company with massive growth. And even if they don't get this USPS contract, they could still have massive potential down the road. And I think this is something that investors were not looking at at all. They were just completely banking off them getting that contract with the USPS. After that fell through, nobody cared about any of this information and everybody just completely sold out. When others are fearful though, that's exactly when smart investors become greedy. We also know that they still can thrive without this contract so even if they don't get it they can continue to keep improving these sales keep producing massive numbers and ultimately keep growing as a company but also we have gotten word multiple times that they are still in a discussion with the usps so after all of this a deal could eventually still come through so this is pretty much my opinion on this company and i do agree with what this article says it says workhorse stock investors should pretty much rest assured that the company is still doing well even considering that massive drop in 
share price. And this really could be an opportunity to capitalize on the market's extreme permission. Obviously, everything that happens in the stock market is an overreaction. Investors really, really overreacted to this news and they didn't take in the whole big picture. Workhorse is still doing well. Now, nevertheless, they do have competition from other companies, which we are going to talk about in just a minute. But as far as just looking at them, just because they lost this USPS contract does not mean they lost their entire company. It is okay and they're still performing massive numbers. Another thing that could send Workhorse through the roof, take a look at this article right here. It says three of the most heavily shorted stocks on the market. These stocks might be a target for a Reddit short squeeze. So we scroll down, we can see that Blink is on here, but then if we scroll down even more, we can see that Workhorse is on here as well. It says from an all-time high of over $40 a share, down to $12 a share, which is where it sits now, the short interest remains high with 25.5% of the free float shorted. Now this isn't a massive percentage, but nevertheless is still pretty high. So we should definitely not underestimate the power of Reddit and the Wall Street Bets investors. They can absolutely take this stock to next levels if they performed another GameStop situation. Now, I do want to talk about something because Workhorse does have competition as well. You can see here it says investors might find better investment opportunities. For an example, Arrival has a $1.2 billion contract backlog from the United Paracel Service, ARVL stock looks attractive at $16 a share. And Arrival is a company that we have talked about on the channel before, and we did compare this company to Workhorse. And I said the real reason that I like Arrival over Workhorse is simply because Arrival has a lot more going for it, where Workhorse was simply working on one contract. Nevertheless though, both of them could be great investments. Let me know if you want me to cover that deeper in a later video. The last thing I wanna look at is institutional investors. We have to see exactly what the big investors are doing. And if we scroll down, we can see in the green are recently opened up positions and in the red are recently closed positions. And if we scroll down, we can see a lot of these positions are green. So over the last several months, institutional investors have been opening up positions in workhorse stock, taking a big piece of the market share. And if we scroll all the way up, we can see the percentage here, about 126 million shares are currently outstanding with over 60 million of them owned by institutions. That is almost 50% institutional ownership. So even though they didn't get the USPS contract, Obviously, institutional investors still believe in Workhorse. And one of our favorites, one of your guys' favorites, ARK Invest, they are buying up tons of shares of Workhorse Group, even still to this day. As you can see here, 4-12-2021, that was yesterday from the time of recording. They purchased over $1.6 million worth of Workhorse stock, which was their largest investment in quite a while. They have this in their ARKX, which is their Space Exploration ETF, as well as their Autonomous and Robotics. Robotics ETF. And I truly believe this is in ARK's portfolios for one reason, not only the vans, but really I think it's because of those delivery drones. ARK is a company that invests in innovative technologies, and that is one thing that could be massive in the future. We all know Kathy Wood and her team does not waste money, so they obviously see some big potential in Workhorse's stock, which should mean us as investors should look into this company a lot more. Now, this was obviously just a quick look, quick overview of Workhorse stock because we did have some other things that I needed to bring to your attention in today's video. But if you guys want me to do an entire in-depth video on Workhorse stock, definitely let me know down in the comments below. With that said, that is all I have for today's video, guys. Let me know your opinion on Tesla, Coinbase, and Workhorse stock. If you enjoyed the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure and smash that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video.